Hey friends, what is up? Today's video is going to be a video on this look. I had a real blast doing this look for you guys and just chatting away with you. So without further ado, let's get started face as a moisturizer I always put a moisturizer on first I put it all over my face even my eyes um, the one I have is the one that I got from the boxycharm Lux. it is the Elemis pro collagen marine cream that's just what it looks like I kind of dig it um, I'm always wanting to put some sort of moisturizer on underneath my foundation and if I don't have a moisturizer then obviously I'm using a primer um, Alright, so I'm going to conceal my eyelids right now because I've been doing my eyeballs lately first. Um, one of my co-workers, they asked me, why don't you do your eye makeup first? Give it a try. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try it out and see how I like it. And if I don't like it, I'm going back to my old ways. But so far, so good. So... Yes, I put concealer on my eyeballs. Why? Well, you know, you've heard of dark circles. I have dark circles every freaking where, okay? So, or especially on top of my lids. Um, so, I've been um, researching on my, like, um, my my purse that I'm gonna get you know like it's tax time now and so I have been kind of doing my research on what purse I want and I want the speedy bandolier 25 um I want to get a brand hammer new so that I can um like if I decide later on to sell it because if I get it for if I get the speedy bandolier from somebody um how do I know all the like the box and everything is not damaged or ruined so oh so what I'm doing now is I'm getting my I've got this Morphe palette it is the 35B and um I'm taking this like pinky nude here and I'm just like sweeping all over my eye just to kind of set the concealer because the concealer is kind of the same color and I have been digging this Morphe uh, 35V lately it's just like one of my go-to palettes like every time I like do a makeup look and I actually put eyeshadow on not my everyday makeup look that I just go to work with if you want to see that and if you want me to do a tutorial on that I would totally do so just leave me a comment and I'll, I'll uh, put it into consideration. But today, I'm just going to do this look for you. So, basically it just has a base just so that my um, concealer does not crease because I don't like that. So, now, we're going to get into the fun part. And I'm going to use both these palettes. So, this is the Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadow Palette, and it looks like this. It's more like, like, berry wine colors, and, um, this Morphe, which I've already showed you, has just got, like, a range of, like, dark, smoky, to all the way to nude. Next, I'm gonna take this purple-ish, like, a plummy color, um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it into the crease. But I'm going to blend it out to about where the bone of my eyelid is. You want to start from the inside of your, your lid, uh, the crease. Like I'm, I'm pulling it up to show you where I'm talking about. You just kind of want to get it into the crease. You want most of it to be in the crease itself. See what I'm talking about? And I like it nice and like cut in there. You know what I mean? And then you're just going to like go out with it and blend it out. So I'm hoping that I'm explaining this right to you. And I hope that you kind of get what I'm talking about. 
And don't worry about going all the way over because like I don't usually put my foundation on until after I do my eye look. Now I've started doing that like I said earlier. See what I see what I did there? It's more darker in your crease and then it blends out. See? Okay. And don't worry about getting it like in this area because I'm going to show you a little trick. Now I'm going to take my Violet Voss and you just want like a like a brown with a little hint of purple in it. Um, but more brown than purple. Okay. And I'm going to take, well, the color that I got in here is called Teddy Bear. It's this one right here. This is the color that I'm going to take. And I'm going to kind of go right here in the crease and kind of do kind of like a wing, like a really, it doesn't have to be perfect because like, like I said, we're going to fix it up and make it look perfect. When in doubt, conceal. So you just kind of want to do it on the outer like that see what i'm doing it's a little bit like really sloppy but it's okay it'll be all right so just like any any dark brown i mean you don't have to use one with a purple tone in it it's just what i well i don't even think this has got purple in it but anyway any kind of brown would work just any kind of brown would work I'm going to take a little brush like this. It's really, really tiny. And I'm going to take my Shape Tape concealer, concealer or any concealer that you own, preferably something light. And you're just going to go on the lid here. And you're just going to, we're going to cut it. And you want to kind of get it to about the top of your lip lid. You don't have to go all the way where your crease is on this. Okay. So now that you kind of have a, a base, you're going to get a, like a flat brush, like, like this. Okay. You can either use something like this or you can use something well kind of like this if you want don't just ignore my hand and so now what I'm going to do is I I'm going to put glitter on my lid but I'm not going to show you the color until I decide what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cranberry splash and I'm going to put it in the corner of each of my where I've just laid the um, the concealer at right here on the outer see what I just did now with a different brush i'm going to do this really pretty pink called so jelly and it's kind of like i can't really explain it but it's really shiny it's got like some gold pigments in it and, and all kinds of pretty colors y'all this is my first time cutting a crease with concealer, so. Hey, Derek, the two cheats are network rated number one in the nation by the experts, or the one a woman has a key card. Correct. You do not have to cheat. Thank you, sir. Oh, this is a network awarded by group member Tim Vicky Power. Now get $300 off our best phone. Dental means everything. So we encourage everything. Now, it's, it doesn't look like it's going to play through yet, but once I have, like, lashes and everything, it will play through. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to take this color here from 
Morphe, which is this color right here, which is like a really pretty like like champagne-ish color. I'm just gonna put it like right in the center of each uh, lid. So now is gonna be the time where I'm gonna do my face. So I'm gonna kind of show you some products that I'm gonna be using. Um, I'm having a little bit, I don't know if you can tell this, but I'm having a little bit of breakage along my cheekbones. It's just because I'm totally irresponsible and don't, I've been slacking in the uh, take care of your, your skin department. So I'm just gonna put a little green concealer on my um, cheekbones and I'm using the Bella Pierre um, Pro Concealer Palette. I think I got this a long time ago in my one of my boxy charms, and for some reason I go to it a lot. Um, if I don't go to it, I'll go with this NYX Professional Color Correcting Concealer. It looks like that. It's pretty dirty, and, but it is um, got like different color colors to correct certain things. Um, if you're interested in me doing a video based on like what colors to use when you have certain skin problems or color different colorations, definitely, definitely let me know you're interested and, in, and I will totally, totally do want, uh, do a bit, do that video for you. So I'm just going to use this like brush here and just kind of tap and as you can tell it kind of looks really weird like my skin's got like white on it that's the whole point you're trying to um you're trying to eliminate and make it all a solid color if that makes sense like you want to make it be brown does that make sense i don't i hope that's that i'm making sense for you guys but um you just basically it's easy. You just look at the color wheel and let's say if you have red spots, look opposite and you'll find that green helps like eliminate red, redness. Why? How? That's just the way it works. Green and red makes, <laughs> green and red makes, makes brown. So next I'm going to be using my Trio Match um, foundation. I, y'all. This stuff, you can get this in every sh every shade known to mankind. Um, there are um, this one is the um, cool, and I'm in the shade creamy natural C3. If anybody was interested, I feel like I have more of a cooler tone skin. But comment down below and let me know if I'm completely wrong about that <laughs> because. Um, that's what I assume because I've noticed that like anything pink looks really, really nice on me, especially with my skin tone. So I'm just kind of just going over this really quickly, um, covering, you know, the spots and stuff like that. Just keep blending until it's the way you like it. <laughs> So next, I'm going to use, again, my shape tape. It's kind of going under my eyes a little bit, you know? And then I do like the, right there. I saw that done and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do that as well. I'm gonna do like my upper lip and then like right here. Just a little bit on my tip of my nose. And then I just kind of blend all that shit and make it look pretty decent. Okay. So. Now. Normally. I will use my airspun powder, but I can't find her anywhere. I've misplaced her. So I'm going to be using my 
Kryolan translucent powder. It's a really good powder, especially um, it, this stuff is like actually used in theater and on like drag queens and kings. So it's a really good powder and I really, really recommend if you are looking for a nice translucent powder um, and you're willing to spend, I think it was like $13 for this little thing. Get it. Um, I got mine online, but if you have like a costume type store um, or like a theater costume makeup type store, I'm pretty sure you can find this stuff there as well. So, I'm unfortunate that I don't have one in my town, sadly. So, I have to order mine online. But, I get mine through a, um, I think it's a costume store or something, but they have it online and stuff and they, they'll ship, like, to different other cities and stuff like that. So, I'm not sure about any international, um, anybody that's international. If they do that but you can um, go online and just click like Kryolan translucent powder and there is a costume type place um, it's like a you know more theatrical makeup so totally give that a try okay so now I'm baking I'm gonna go back to my eyeballs just that I'm going to be using today are these and they're pretty long but they're really pretty so why not right but let's just I'm just going to do a typical wing liner if you want me to do a video on how to do a wing liner definitely um off obviously let me know in the comments that you want a tutorial on how to do a wing liner and I will do one for you or I will show you how to do a wing liner but um, if you are an expert you can do as big or as little as possible I think today I'm gonna go on the little side so now I'm gonna do my lashes I'm just gonna put these on real quickly if you want a tutorial on that Leave me a comment and I will try to do a tutorial on how I put my lashes on my eyeballs. But right now, I'm just slapping these bitches on. And if you know how to, then you do your thing. There's my lashes. So now that I've got my liner and my lashes all together, I'm going to buff all this out. Okay, so now I'm going to do brows, and um, the brow product that I'm using is this Kat Von D 24-hour um, brow. I'm in the shade medium, and I'm just going to take like an angled brush. Since my brows are a little bit thicker, I can go with a more thicker angled brush like this. See how thick it is? So, and what I really just do is I just kind of fill them in. I don't, I don't really do anything like crazy fancy um, all right there's my brows they're dark and they're huge but and they're probably not you know identical but that's okay because we're not aiming for twins we're aiming for in the family <laughs> so now it's time for contour and highlight and for my contour I'm using this hula from Benefit just looks like that so like a really nice natural color that I that I that I like to use from time to time and I'm just going right here if you want me to do a contour and highlight video I will totally do it for anybody who needs a little help with with their contour um, so yeah totally will do that I just kind of do like the basics when I contour, which is basically, you know, got to get that skinny neck going on, get rid of that turkey gobbler, mine, not y'all's because y'all's are beautiful, mine's ugly, okay, and then I do like the inside of my cheeks to make like 
make it skinny er and then like my forehead where the shadow of my hairline will be because I am going to be wearing uh, a wig here in a second so we kind of want to create that that shadow so and I used to do like my contour up in here but that I don't do anymore because I don't have uh, my layers anymore but plus I just I, my my forehead's not really that big so I just kind of do the sides of it because I want like more of a skinnier look to my face so it's all about the illusion and then I do my nose because I like the illusion of a smaller nose I think I have a, a really wide nose so you know I just kind of go in like that and the brush that I'm using is from Real Techniques it's just a contour like a simple contour brush that I've had for for ages I need to just break down and buy me more brushes you know yeah okay now we're gonna do highlights and usually I use this Jeffree Star um, skin frost and eclipse but I'm going to actually use this which is the wonder beauty wondrous dust to dawn and I'm just using this really pretty gold color called city light and then I'm going to use my this is my no then I'm just going to use my um, taper highlight brush from uh, Lexi brush and I'm just doing like the apples of my cheeks and I need my, oh wait I have one in my mirror I don't know if you can see the highlight or not, but my lights are not as dark. Do y'all like my bell cup? Anybody? I know I do. I'm doing going to do a little bit of highlight on my brow, but I'm going to do a different highlight color. And when I do my highlight here and on the corner of my eyes, I like a nice white highlight. So... I'm going to grab up my, where's that? I'm going to grab a brush. Right here it is. This little chunky thing. I know it's it's from Echo Tools, but I'm going to take this color right here. It's like a white and it's called Crystal. It's from this palette here. I've only been using two palettes, by the way. So if you've seen a black one in this video, it was my Morphe palette. And if you've seen a you know burgundy red and black one so basically i'm just putting the highlight like right up in here and on each side of my uh, eye bibbles and then i'm going to take that same color and just put it right here corner of my eyes Okay. And now we're going to do a little blush. So. So I'm going to take my big old blush brush and with the same little highlight palette that I was highlight and stuff palette, this little palette right here. And I'm going to take this middle one called Havana Nights and I'm just going to put it kind of there and then just kind of drag it up give you like a little flush of color 
I used to not be a um, a blush person, but here lately it's it's been a lot more than. All right now, so I'm going to do my waterline. Most of the time I don't do the lash line with any eyeshadow colors or anything like that. You can do that if you want. I just choose not to. If I do put anything underneath there, it's going to be like a brown. Either going to be a brown or a black. So, um, I'm not doing anything special underneath my eyes other than the mascara. So, I'm going to take this Wet n Wild pencil. It's like this freaking long and I've been trying to get rid of this liner it's a good liner don't get me wrong it's a good liner but I just I would love to do get a different one so I'm trying to to use her up just do my waterline like like so thinking about doing some like makeup challenge like Dollar Tree makeup challenges and like Walmart makeup challenges and Target and Dollar General and like I even thought about doing like a $20 makeup challenge like I'm buying makeup if you're interested in seeing that or any of those let me know I'm trying to come up with some really amazing ideas for uh, some makeup looks as well so yeah some mascara on my lashes and then we're gonna pick out a color for the lipsies and then you're gonna see the whole shebang here in a minute there she is and okay so y'all I got these um lashes from LA colors I got this actually from the family dollar that is right next door to my job and I've been kind of curious about doing individual lashes on myself um and so I so I decided to grab up this pack I think I spent like 350 on this pack um because I want to figure out or play with these and see if I can create a really interesting look with this so um i'll keep you posted up on how the individual lashes are right now i've just got normal strip lashes on um but yeah um i'm gonna play around with this and um see if i prefer these better than these um somebody told me at work that these will be a little bit more time consuming because you gotta glue each one down um but i'm using these because I'm going to eventually become a like esthetician where I can actually place these on individually and actually do like perm like those last lash extensions do something try to practice before I learn how to do lash extensions when I go to school so yeah I know I was trying to make that it's complicated right so I think I'm gonna break out my Shannon Rose cake I absolutely love this color. I don't bring her out as much just because um, she's been actually, I think this color has been completely out lately. But girl, I really love it. Alrighty, so here's my, my wig that I'm going to put on today. We'll see how she looks with this look. I'm excited. My other wig is in my car, but... I don't want to go out and get it, so I'm just going to use the pink wig today. I haven't worn her that often. And since I have, like, kind of short hair, I'm not really worried about a wig cap. But if I was to, like, actually really go out, then yeah. Okay. So here she goes. Ugh. Gotta fix the, the strap on her. Mm-hmm. Like you can't even tell. Okay. Okay. Can you believe they accept skin cancer? 
So I hope that you like this video. Definitely give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you want to see another makeup look from your girl. And like I always say, with you dressed up, dressed down, you're beautiful. Bye.